Hi, so I made this video to answer to Vostek Lakina uh, who told, who asked about uh, Speedflow and how to add uh, different bevel on different uh, selection. And uh, first, you should come on the Blender Discord because uh, it's better to share um, for a video, in picture, uh, code, etc., etc. And uh, there is some people, and this is really nice. Uh, this is better than um, than YouTube, where I cannot uh, send pictures, etc., etc. So. Um, to add a different bevel and different size, um, different selection, we, uh, there is two workflow. Uh, one who works uh, pretty nice, on, uh, the one we use on Speedflow, and one other who is also really nice but uh, who breaks on different uh, case like uh, booleans, etc. etc. So I will show you both and uh, like this you can uh, do whatever you want but uh, I think I will uh, add the second to uh, companion to make it uh, available in one click too because uh, right now you have to uh, to make some uh, everything by hand. So to do this you will select for example this you will create a vertex group you will assign the vertex group you will create a new bevel this one will be in vertex group and you will select the vertex group you created directly and like this you will be able to edit your bevel yep. like this i have my bevel and add another bevel on another uh, selection like this i can select this two and add the new bevel like this vertex group vertex group 001 and edit the segments like this and edit the uh, width also okay so as you can see this is uh, this is great that's for really nice on uh, loops but uh, that break when you uh, apply for example a boolean and all your uh, vertex group will be uh, uh, removed for not removed but uh, you will have to redo everything to uh, add your selection to your vertex group etc and uh, you will also find uh, that will also bricks on uh, different case uh, with uh, different wires etc etc so that's why we don't use this uh, this workflow and uh, even if it's nice but uh, on speed flow we preferred uh, a simpler uh, workflow uh, for me and uh, th this workflow doesn't break i will show you this but uh, on this one i think i will add it to companion to uh in one uh, in if you have a selection you will be able to click on uh, add uh, bevel um, bevel with vertex group uh, like, uh, something like this and you will have to choose if uh, there is no vertex group uh, that will be on uh, that will create a vertex group and there is if there is a different vertex group uh, you will be able to assign to the one you want so I will uh, maybe, enfin, I think I will do this because uh, it, this is a great workflow too and uh, that should be on uh, Speedflow too to be uh, to do uh, whatever you want. So now the uh, Speedflow workflow is uh, is, lif is different, um, maybe a little limited, but uh, in fact it works for me uh, on uh, everything and uh, with a good workflow you can do whatever you want and uh, this is nice. So, for example, on this one, I will select uh, this uh, this selection and I will add a bevel. As you can see, I can edit my bevel and this is fast. I can do also this and this is nice. But as you can see, uh, I will do this, there is only one bevel uh, modifier. So, if you want to uh, to edit the number of segments on this selection, you cannot. Except if you apply this one, you will be able to add a new uh, a new bevel, etc. So as you can see, this is the same. Okay. So uh, with Speedflow, you can, if you want, add a new bevel with Shift W. And as you can see, on this one, you will be able to add the number of segments you want. Okay. So this is uh, this is pretty nice. And most of the time, in uh, when you create. Uh, object you need uh, big bevels and also little bevels with, with only two segments because uh, if you want to add a subdivision surface like this oh, no yep excuse me like this you will have directly something nice and something that works as you can see 
just have to clean the uh, the end gun, but uh, as you can see, this is nice. This is how uh, most of the time we create objects, big bevels, but one last like this one to make uh, to maintain etc etc. So this is nice. This is the workflow we uh, we need to use. But of course, if you want, you can, for example, do something like this: add a bevel on this one, add segments if you want, press Shift W like this. You can play with the number of segments and one uh, one more time press shift w like this and add the segments you want for example the last one um, the first one is in weight and the others are in angle so you can play with x on the angle to add exactly where you want okay so as you can see this is uh, this is nice and this is interesting so you have something that's work but uh, maybe you want not to have uh, this part here you want it here but not here so it's possible to uh, make something like this Oopla. I will select this one Sh S shift Z like this and make a boolean you will not apply it you will just move it as you can see my boolean is there I moved it under the last bevel and if I do this as you can see I have something clean and this is uh, this is really nice you also can I will just add something like this I will just make a scale I will extrude this you also can do something like this if you want Up. I will extrude this Control B like this or I will uh, just uh, uh, control Z and I can, for example, shift W to add different bevel. So with the great, fin, with the good workflow, in fact, you can do whatever you want with this, uh, with with what we choose to add on speed flow. And I have to go in curve like this, and I can edit like this. So this is yep. Uh, this is my object and I wanted to do this. This is my object and I have different bevels and this is uh, this is pretty nice and everything is editable as you can see. So this is uh, a different workflow from the previous one but uh, with the good uh, workflow <laughs> twice uh, you can in fact do whatever you want and add a different bevel size or you can apply everything if you want etc etc. For example, I can uh, make something here, something uh, like this, boolean, uh, no, not boolean, excuse me. I can select this, add one bevel, D, I add some selections, Up. if you look, you have this. On this one, I can apply shift W, do something like this, and I can apply add a bevel, and do this and in fact i will just hide this you will have something that is uh, that is perfect to finish your object to clean it after well, I, I added a lot of um, segments but uh, in subdiv mode after you should not add too much segments but uh, that's work uh, really nice this is a great workflow i use it a lot in subdiv modeling and uh, for me this is uh, this is really interesting and this is fully editable yep, like this if I hide every modifiers I have only this so uh, to uh, resume um, you have the previous the other workflow that allow you to add different bevel on different uh, on different edges but that breaks uh, if you add a boolean and apply the boolean uh, with what we did on the speed flow you can use booleans uh, without applying it and uh, do in fact whatever you want uh, and after apply and finish you have the possibility to uh, to have for example if i want to uh, have something different than this one i just can uh, read, decrease the segments and decrease the uh, edit and decrease the segment of the other one yep. But uh, you have to be careful about the uh, the angle of the uh, the bevel of the other object. But this is a great workflow that's work uh, 
almost all the times and uh, I never had the, um, the need to use the other workflow. So that's it.